Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope we are well. Today I'm going to be doing another one of my size 14 tries and I think this one, this one has been quite requested and I think anticipated for. This is trying different size 14 denim jeans across different high street brands and a couple of online stores. I'm going to be seeing if the high street shops online brands manage to have some kind of flow accuracy in size. We know never to really take the size on the tag seriously because it can fluctuate, it can differ all the time. So I just kind of want to see A, if they fit all right, and B, if they're comfortable because you know, they, you might get them on, but can you actually walk around in them? There's things to bear in mind with denim shorts. I've got Thunderfires. One thing that I struggle with, with shorts in particular, is chub rub, chafing. If I'm wearing a skirt or a dress, I'll just wear some cycle shorts underneath. But when it comes to just shorts on their own, especially like denim shorts where the material is a bit more stiff and just sort of like sort of sticks or kind of goes into your crotch, you, you, it can be uncomfortable. So I will be chafe testing too. <laughs> I checked out a few different high street stores today. I went into town. It was kind of difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Trying to find the size, trying to find a 14 in a sea of eights and tens. It was hard. Let's see how I got on. Hey! So I've come into town to buy some shorts for this experiment today. It's absolutely pissing it down outside, so buying shorts is the last thing on my mind. Because it's cold. Let's go, let's see what we can find. Then we'll go home and uh, try them all on. Let's start with River Island, see what we can find. I'm trying to find like a high waist short, which also is quite long in the leg, so it doesn't chafe. If you're anything like me, you've got thunder thighs. Denim shorts are actually the devil. <laughs> so, see what I can find. Like this. This won't do. What's that? It's nothing. That's asking for a rash. This is a little bit more acceptable paper bag short. So, have they got the size though? That is the question. 16, 12, uh oh. They don't. No, they don't. Shirt is legit. One, two, three, four pairs of denim shorts in a Island. Fail. None of them are suitable. Disgusting. Disgusting. Right, I'm gonna get Levi's. I'll get Levi's in. Screw you, River Island. Okay. So I had a successful trip to, uh, nearly successful, just about successful trip to Levi's. So um, I got a style called the rib cage, which is an extra high, high waist. Um, I wanted to get like the classic Levi shorts, but they didn't have my size. <laughs> so we'll see though. We'll see how we get on with these because my experience of Levi's there is quite generous. So um, this was the only 32 waist that they had in there. In the in the rib cage, and the style that I wanted was a 501, which was the classic. So if this is too generous, I could probably get a 30. But we'll see. We'll see when I get home. I'm in H and M. H and M. These are all only 8.99, but I don't know if they're high waist ones. They don't look like they're high waist. Maybe I'll keep looking. They might be down and divided. I'm upstairs at the moment in the grown ups. Hmm. Don't know about them. I'll keep looking, I'll keep looking. <laughs> Nothing in Divided. I can't find any shorts in Divided. Well, I have, but they're like the size of my fist. This is hard, this is really hard. I'm just not finding anything. I feel like society is basically saying, you know, you're over a size 10, you can't wear any shorts. Well, fuck you, society. I will find something. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. This is looking a little bit more promising. What have we got here? Regular waist. Reg oh, not regular waist. High waist shorts. Here we go. We might have to get them in black. Are you are you high? Are you all high? Are you high? <laughs> They're gonna tell. Dang. Okay, I eventually found a size 14 pair of high waist shorts. And they're 8 99 Bargain. Come to Zara, and I was starting to get like a little bit kind of angry actually. I couldn't find anything. Like, I was like, this is just not. This is just really hard. It's not an easy task. But I finally found 
these mom fit high rise. I need something to eat. Maybe I'm just hangry. <laughs> I'm gonna get new look. New look is always got good results for me in these videos. I've always kept the things from new look. So hopefully they'll deliver on this front as well. Here we go. Right, so there's these that are a bit more baggier. They've got the rip ones. What these ones are quite baggy. And then them ones. Oh, I don't know. I don't know which ones to go for. Hmm. 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 Just did Primark. And again, like last time, right in the door. I think I'm done. I'm done. I can go home now and eat something. <laughs> so that is how the shopping went. Let's actually try these bad boys on then. Woo! Number one, I'm gonna go with these, which are the Primark ones, size 14, 12 pounds. Now, what I'm noticing about these bits is this crotch bit in the middle here, slightly longer than usual on a denim short, which gives me hope that it might be slightly chafe-proof. Chafe so let's just see how they fit around my bum. Okay, oh. <laughs> I've got my granny pants on, come on. Ah, there we go. They is on. Okay. A bit nippy, a little bit nippy, but not not dreadful. Okay, let's tie this up. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just walk around, see how they feel. Go around a circle to see how far they go into my crotch. Okay, I can feel a little bit of pull. Pull into the Uranus. They're not too bad. I do feel like this little bit of extra material at the bottom here really has helped keep the um, the chafing at a minimum. I like that it's distressed at the bottom. How do you think they look? Not too bad, not too bad. A little bit tight, perhaps. I actually think they fit all right considering. I haven't got much of a camel toe. That's another one of the tests. Not too bad, really. Sometimes I feel when they pull up that you get, yeah, it's a little bit. Is there much bum hanging out the bottom? No, no butt hanging out the bottom. That's quite good. Yeah, I kind of, I rate these. These are pretty good. I'm quite happy with this. On to the next pair. This next pair is from New Look and these are what you would call paper bag shorts. So they're a denim short eye waist. They're a paper bag because they've got this sort of like scrunchy top and that's what a paper bag is, is that kind of scrunchy, stretchy, bag looking. <laughs> All in the name, baby. So they feel like they're quite small. Like that, that to me looks kind of small, but they're gonna stretch. They're gonna stretch. Let's see how we get on with these ones. Ugh. New Look has always performed the best when I've been testing things out. So let's see if we're on to a hat trick. Buttons are small, smaller than I'm used to. Okay, they went on nicely. Ooh, they feel nice. Oh, nice and roomy. Yes! Instant yes. Now I feel like the whole paper bag, trouser, short bottom trend is quite good for people that are a bit chunky on the bottom half because I feel the more material you have to spare, the more movement you've got. So you're less likely to have like bum and your thighs eating everything. So therefore you're not, it's less likely for it to go in like that, causing more chafing. I think that because the paper bag style has got this, you know, bag top, but they kind of, they kind of go out like that. Like they're wider than a normal short, which I think is why they're just better to stop any chafing and riding up. I think that these are quite good. These are quite nice, I put a little belt on here. And there, da, 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 da. They're very comfy. My bum hanging out, they're very comfortable. You know what, thick thigh life is this. Honestly, pulling them out, pulling them down. But that's all right, these are okay. I do not hate these. Zara. Now Zara didn't perform very well in the last video, which was the mom jeans one. They just didn't go up very well. But these are from Zara and they are the mom fit short. So they're gonna be baggier. I can tell already. Ooh, hang on. Ooh. So again, okay, here we go. I think they're gonna be a bit more, enable a bit more. Okay, okay. This necklace can fuck off. Can we do them up? Oh. Uh, uh, okay, they up only just. Get these the zipper. 
Okay, they went up. They did actually go up, or I just had to do a little lean. But now they're up. Now they're up and on. Okay. They're quite stiff. That's because they're mom fit. Um, mom fit. Let me look in my mirror. They actually are pretty good for the not the, for not chafing. And they fit actually pretty well. So normally I have quite a big gap up here where they bulge. So they fit my bum just right. And there's not much room up here, which is good. Because normally it's like gapey, gapey at my hips. So that's quite that's quite nice. So comes a nice amount down the leg. So not, not very chafy. This just needed a little bit of patience, a little bit of, you know, a little bit of work. And then I got there in the end. I don't hate these. I think they're quite good. I definitely would wear, I actually do feel really comfortable in these. Yeah, baby. Yeah! All right then. So as you heard, as I explained earlier, these aren't the like traditional classic Levi shorts, which are the 401s, I think I said. And um, these are rib cage shorts, which basically means they're super high rise. That's because they didn't have my size. They're number 14 in that style. They, the only 14 they had in the whole shop were these ones with this leopard print design on, which I think are quite cool actually. So I'm gonna try these on. I might not need this size. From the last video that I did, the Levi's came out quite big. They came out quite generously. Here we go. When they say rib cage, I was like thinking, is it gonna be like a corset? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got loads of buttons. Bear with me. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Up we go. There we go. Oh, they're up. Okay. So, hmm, they fit snug. So they are just the right size, I would say. The Levi's are just the right size. Now let's see how they do in terms of chafing. Now they are quite short, these ones. I feel like there might be a little bit of chafing in these after a while. Not the shortest of the shorts, but they are still short, but they are. Uh, I do really like this denim pattern though, this leopard print. Oh, that's pretty nice. But yeah, these are pretty, they're pretty snug. They fit really well. Um, would I go down a size? Probably not, because I think that would be too tight. I mean, there is, they are quite roomy still, but I, I, I would be comfortable wearing these ones. Um, yeah, I think, I think they might be a bit too short. They're very thin. So with the more kind of stiffer styles, they hold in place. If anything is like kind of stretching quite thin, that tends to like roll like that. So this might not be suitable for my needs. So I might have to return these ones, which is a shame because I've always wanted a pair of like, I've always wanted a pair of Levi shorts because I thought they were really cowgirl and really cool. These are from H&M. These are the cheapest shorts that I bought. They were about $8.99. And they are just the high waist shorts, they say, in this indigo kind of blue. Is that indigo? Navy blue denim. I don't have much hope for these. I think they're gonna be a, not in terms of size, I think they're just gonna be a bit thin and a bit weak and a bit me. Oh, not comfortable, okay. All right, so they're very tight. That's a sorry start. Oh God. Oh, yeah, they're tight. These are the tightest <laughs> of them all. Yeah, look at that. This lovely muffin top. That is absolutely beautiful. Uh, they're quite comfy. No, I think after a day in these, I probably start to feel the chafe. They're tightest in terms of size. Mm, they are very flexible, but I, I think, yeah, they'd start to ride up. They're quite cute, and then, to be honest, eight eight ninety nine. That's not too bad, really, is it? Mm, I don't think I could last a day in these, if I'm honest with you. So, this pair of shorts is from Topshop. And yes, I already own these, but I want to show you them because they're great. Now, these are another pair of paper bag shorts in this acid wash denim. These are actually banging. These are a size 14. Um, they're so roomy. They're quite, the elastic on them is quite, they are quite generous. They've got, these ones have more up here than the, the new look paper bag shorts. They're just sort of, yeah, they've got a lot more up here and you can, you can put a belt around here as well. The belt hoops aren't that big, but there's the space too. Um, this bit's quite big, it's very, very flexible. What I would say about the Topshop shorts, just from the experience, is the regular, like classic denim shorts from there are very stiff and I can probably guarantee you, or maybe I should have got some just to, for an example, but I think that they would be quite tight and small, perhaps. So I tried these ones. So I've had some Topshop shorts before and they weren't the most, they weren't the comfiest ones ever. Like the kind of classic denim ones. So I bought these ones and they are fantastic. They're really comfy, really stretchy. Not, they don't 
but I don't particularly chafe. <laughs> I've worn them quite a lot this sun. Well, I took them to Turkey and I, they were like my everyday Sure, I wore them every day. Real big fan of these. And they do them in uh, various different colors. I think this is like one of their hero styles maybe. I don't know if that's a term. Basically, they've got these in loads of different colors and they've, they've got a lot of them, so check them out. Last pair of shorts are these ones. Now, I've had these a year, but I want to show you them because I think they're great. They're from a brand called One Teaspoon and these were really expensive. These were 90 pounds, but I had faith in them. And I thought, these gonna be the most comfortable pair of shorts I think I'll ever own. And I wasn't wrong. So the reason why, you can probably tell, they're so comfy, is because you're in on the middle. No chafing ever. And, and then you have the side, but you feel like you're wearing a cute pair of short denim shorts, but without the uncomfortable, uncomfort. Discomfort. Discomfort, Helen, not uncomfort. And I have worn these so much. The only problem I have with these shorts is this bit here is just a bit baggy and it creates like a very prominent V here. That look, there's a dark line there <laughs> of stitching and that's the problem. It looks, oh for God's sake, but yeah, that's really badly placed stitching. But I do love them, I, I wear them so much in the summer. They're so comfy. I think that when, good in your idea that you wanna wear like these really cute, cute short denim shorts, but in reality, it's a chafing nightmare. Um, but with these, I really can live that dream. And I love them. But so to summarize, Zara ones were really great. The Primark ones are really great. And I think the new look ones, my favorite. So those, those were my top three. Other than the ones that I already own, I think they were my top three. Um, if I'm gonna, if I was to keep a pair from all the ones that I bought today, I would keep. I'd probably keep the Zara ones actually. They didn't perform too well last time I did a try on, and New Look has been my winner two t two times in a row. I mean, it did all right today, but definitely think Zara's won with these bad boys. Yeah very very well today Zara well done Levi's was a little bit disappointed with but I think it's just the material maybe I'll take them back and try I might try a different style the 401s 401s maybe they have them in my size so yeah that was it I hope it helped you on any denim short buying ventures you may be on um, let me know if there's any more videos like this you want me to do and try thanks for watching I will see you soon